Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kreis, also known as Average, and today we are going to be continuing our little tutorial plugin series for T-Shock version 5. Before we begin, well actually I want to introduce today's idea, I guess, or uh, concept. It's going to be configs. So for a config, I've done this video once before, but uh, it was about a month and a half ago, right after I uploaded the first video. And then I've learned some other stuff that I wanted to mention uh, before we get into the actual config. So if you'll remember in the last episode, we we created a uh, sample plugin. Basically, all it does is adds a command, which will give you a random item. And this was the logic for that. So I've learned a couple things since then. First off, we don't really need to initialize, like we don't need to use this hook this game initialize hook for adding chat commands so we can actually just completely get rid of it this is unnecessary because we can do the same thing in the initialize uh void here another thing is we don't need this disposal uh method at all we can delete it completely apparently that is something that is only really done in older t-shock plugins uh new versions of t-shock no longer require this so so one thing that I wanted to talk about as well that I was informed of by somebody on the T-Shock Discord was this line here is also not really necessary whatsoever. Uh, there's not really ever a time where if a player executes a command, they won't be active. This is almost always going to be true. So if anything, all this is doing is taking away a little bit of performance from your actual program or your plugin, I guess. Something we should actually be checking for, though, is if it is being executed as the server. And what I mean by this is if the player is not actually on the server or if it's being done through the console. So we can do this by doing args.player.realplayer. And so this will allow us to see, as you can tell, whether the player is a real human player on the server. Uh, another thing we can do just to clean up the code a little bit is delete these. Since it's a one line if statement, we can just actually delete the curve braces and leave it like so uh, another thing I wanted to touch base on was this random dot next part here uh, item ID 0 won't actually give you anything so it's safer to put one here just like so so I think we've talked about everything that could be changed from the last video now we're gonna work on creating a config so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a new item and this is going to be a new class. We're going to type in config.cs. So this is the super bare bones way I'm going to teach you guys. So first I want to introduce the concept of a config. Uh, it's basically something that you can open up. It's a kind of a text file, but it's really in JSON. Uh, it's just a really easy and concise way for our program to interact with the config. Uh, so yeah, we can open up something like anti-spam config and basically it's a bunch of settings if you want to make your uh, plugin a little bit more customizable. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm showing you right now the extremely bare bones way and then I can introduce to you a library in a later video where we can pretty much upgrade our config. So yeah, we are going to create a class like we've already done and instead of internal, we're going to do a public sorry public class here is where we can start putting our settings so let's say i want to do okay we're gonna we're just gonna do a public string cool player and then we're gonna set it by default to my ign which is average it's honestly weird that it knew that that's that's fucked up guys github copilot is is stalking me but no it's probably i don't know that, that's strange that it knew that anyway that is very strange however doesn't matter let's continue so one thing we have to write is we are going to create the ability to read our config based on our path so we are going to add the ability to read our config and we're going to do if uh, file does not exist that's what this exclamation mark here is and then we want to enter our path so we're going to do, do t shock dot save path so this if we hover over it holy shit it's really giving us literally everything here uh, this is the path that T-Shock saves its data in. The path is relative to terrariaserver.exe. So, this will be your T-Shock folder if we go into a T-Shock build. Um, so it's relative to this. So yeah, uh, it's telling us we can do a lot of other things. Really, all we have to do is do something like that. And then uh, we're just going to do tutorial plugin dot json like so okay now we are going to continue 
And so this basically what this means is if there is no config, we are going to return a new config. Uh, so this will create a new one. Uh, and basically it'll take all of the default values here. Uh, we're going to return JSON convert dot deserialize object config. So basically it's deserializing the type of config which we've created here. And then um, exactly this. Uh, and something we can do is make a string of path and just put it all in here instead. And then we can just type in path. And then here we can uh, type in path as well. And then actually something we're going to do is just copy this to here. Uh, and we're going to make this public but we're also going to make it static. So there's only going to be one instance of this. And basically the reason we're doing this is just so we can do tutorial plugin dot path like so. Um, so if you do want to change the path, this is where you would do it. So you can change this to whatever your plugin name is, and then it'll be saved as that file. Uh, but it's not really done yet. This is just the very basic part uh, that what we've done. So how do we actually get this file on the computer? You know, how do we get it into our... We are going to use a public void write. We're going to do file dot write all text. And it's pretty much typed it out for us completely. We can just press tab. This is exactly what I was going to enter. So it's a little fucked up, but GitHub Copilot really helps a lot <laughs> for just guessing exactly what you're going to end up writing. So yeah, this is going to be our write void. And then we're gonna head to our tutorial plugin.cs and we are going to type in, uh, I guess we'll do it down here. We're going to make a public, but we're also gonna make it a static. So public static config, config equals new config. So this is creating a new instance of the config. And because we're making it static, this will be able to be referenced in other classes as well, just by doing tutorial plugin.config. Um, okay. So now what you might be asking, well, we're going to go to our initialize area here and we are going to basically initialize our uh, config. So we're going to type in if file dot exists path and we are going to actually we don't even need curly braces. We can just do in config dot read and we don't need to put anything inside of the parentheses because it already knows the path. It's a static uh, string right here or right here. Um, so this is only going to work if it actually exists. What if it doesn't exist? Well, we're going to exactly, we're going to do else and then yeah, config dot right. So what this is doing is it's checking if the config exists, if it does read the config contents and deserialize it so we can use it as a uh, config dot you know whatever otherwise config dot write that bitch so config dot write will actually create the file to begin with and that's what's going on here we don't want to overwrite the path with the config if it already exists because then it'll use the default values here and we kind of we kind of want to keep our our config you know saved through each session that we use it um so we're going to in here, the initialize, we're going to set up a general hooks dot on reload event or sorry, uh, reload event. And we're going to type in plus equals and then we're going to generate a method. We're just going to call it on reload and we don't need a, any parentheses there. So it says it doesn't exist. We can right click and quick actions and we're going to generate the method like so. It puts it right down here. Uh, we're going to delete this throw new not implemented exception. And all we're going to do is basically the same exact thing as we did here. So if it exists, we're going to read it. Otherwise, we're going to write to it. So what this does is if you make a change to the config, it won't actually apply in game. Like the config values will stay the same until you reload it. So now we actually have a working config. Uh, I think we are going to just do a really, really quick thing here. We are going to write to the console and we're, all we're going to do is print out the cool player string that we've put in there. So we're going to build it and we are going to get open our T shock build. And we're also going to right click here, open file in file explorer and then bin release. Net 6.0 or, or sorry, we're in debug, I guess. So we'll go go to debug net 6.0. Okay, copy all of this and paste it into your server plugins. We're going to start it up. 
So there's going to be a lot of stuff that it already says you'll notice, but we can see here it has written average in the console. Uh, so what are the use cases for this? Um, maybe we could do something like uh, server API dot hooks dot player net greet player. And then we're going to register a new hook, which we're going to call uh, on join. So we're going to right click quick actions, generate the method. Here it is. And all we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, that that's pretty much what I wanted to do, <laughs> but we're also going to have an if statement. So what, what this is doing, sorry, I'm going to explain, uh, by default, the args that are given to you with greet player event, you can't actually directly get the player name. As you can see, you can just do handled or who. So who will give you the index of the player on the server. What this means is this is a tshock.players array. It has a bunch of player values um, and each of the players has an index. So for example, if I'm the first person to join, my index will be zero. So this will actually be tshock.players zero. So it's just referencing the zeroth player or the first player that joins because it starts at zero. So it's going to say welcome to the server and then average, but we're going to make a check here and we're going to say if exactly exact. Wow. So if player dot name is equal to config dot cool player, we're going to say player dot send success message. You are the coolest player on the server. We're going to just do send message so that we can customize the color and we're going to make it a medium purple, whatever that is. And then that's all. That's all we're going to do. We're going to build the solution and I need to open up my Terraria. So we have our tutorial plugin here and then we're going to paste it into server plugins. Start it up. Okay, there we go. So it says welcome to the server average, which we wrote. And then you are the coolest player on the server in purple. So what happens if I change the value in the config? So I go to Tshock and then we should have a, a tutorial plugin dot JSON right here. So we have cool player average. Let's change this to um, idiot, you know? Okay, and then we're going to slash reload. Oh, sorry, we'll do it in the console, slash reload. Um, you can also make it announce in here. If we do on reload, we can do, um, at the very end here, we can just do e dot play, or yeah, e dot player dot send message. And then we can say something like tutorial plugin reloaded. That's what you do if you want to add a uh, and then we can choose a color or you can just do send info message. That's how you add a message here. As you can see, essentials plus and region claim also do the same thing. So that's how you do that. Um, I'm just going to turn off the ruler real quick. So now that we've reloaded and we no longer have um, average is the cool player, if we leave and we join, it will no longer all right, there's an issue with some other plugin, I think. Okay, there, there we go. Um, no, okay, it still says you are the coolest player on the server. So it didn't get overwritten, but we are still the coolest player on the server. I mean, I guess, you know, what can you do? If you're the coolest player, you're the coolest player. But it should really be idiot now, not... I think what we are going to attempt to do is do config equals config.read. So this is setting the existing config to the new config because it's actually not really doing anything here. It's just returning the config. Um, it's not resetting the config. So, uh, I, yeah, so we'll just do config equals config dot read. I think this will fix it. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing here. Okay, and then we'll build it. And we are going to exit and copy our new code. Obviously, it's, it's going to work because we've restarted the server so the, the data is going to get writ read at the very beginning it says idiot that's perfect that's what we want and now hopefully if we join the server it won't tell us we're the coolest player and also if we change it to average it should actually work this time yes okay welcome to the server average does not say we're the coolest player anymore despite that not being true uh, if we change idiot here to average and then we reload 
we can also see our tutorial plugin reloaded has been added there. But also, if we save and exit and then join back in, we should see you are the coolest player on the server. So there we go. Now it works. Um, so hopefully this video helped you guys. There's a lot of stuff you can do with configs. It's mainly just for if you want to be able to quickly set values. You can also add objects to a config. Um, which I guess we might as well do. I don't know. Maybe that's for another video, but this is a very basic config. Uh, super minimal. You can add as many uh, values here as you want. So let's say I want to do public int um, cool number. Exactly. 1337. Or if I want, I don't know, really whatever. You can do anything you want, and it's just kind of a place for data to be read from if you want to be able to change values they because often you don't want something hard coded right it's kind of shit if you have hard coded values because then you can never change them uh hopefully this video helped you guys uh, and if it did please leave a like comment share it with people i don't really care honestly thank you for watching and have a good one